Did you hear the headline? That's right, the CDC came out saying that 35% of people infected with coronavirus are asymptomatic. That's right, and that's a lot. I wanted to come back to explain what that means, what it doesn't mean, and why that's so important to know. So asymptomatic transmission and asymptomatic people, that's been sort of a buzzword and buzz phrases that we've heard over the last eight to 10 weeks, of course. Let me just break it down what it means. If you are asymptomatic, that means you have been infected with coronavirus, but you have no symptoms. You show no symptoms, you feel no symptoms, you don't have symptoms. Now, the thing about that is, since you don't have symptoms, you won't know that you've been infected with coronavirus unless you get a test. It also means that you could spread coronavirus to other people without even knowing it because you don't even know that you have coronavirus. That's what asymptomatic transmission is. And somebody asymptomatic for coronavirus is that person um, who has coronavirus that's infected, but doesn't even know it. And they could transmit it. Guys, this is a really big deal. And it's really one of the driving forces that caused us to have to start wearing masks everywhere. Um, I did a video on asymptomatic transmission before, but I wanted to come back because the CDC has readdressed this topic. So I wanted to reemphasize the importance of it. You know, we were telling everybody, no masks, no masks, no masks, yada, yada. And then all of a sudden we said, wear masks everywhere. And y'all were like, hmm. I know, I remember. Um, and it's not that we got it wrong the first time. It's just that we didn't know yet. As we know with coronavirus, we are learning every single day about this virus, guys. I can't even tell you every day we discover something new. Now, you say, well, what's the big deal about wearing masks? What does it have to do with asymptomatic people and asymptomatic transmission? What it has to do with it is this. One of the big reasons why we started having to wear masks everywhere is because 35% roughly of people who are infected with coronavirus don't even know it because they don't have symptoms and they could be just spreading it all around. So wearing masks was an attempt to protect everyone, but also to protect us from those people who are asymptomatic but are infected and don't know it and could unknowingly spread it to us and to other people. That's why masks are so important for us all to wear. I know there are a lot of people throughout the country that don't wanna wear masks. I know some people feel like it's an infringement on their rights, um, that it sort of restricts their right to choose. And I understand that. The problem with not wearing a mask is that infringes on someone else's right to be healthy. If you are an asymptomatic person with coronavirus and you're not wearing a mask, you could be spreading it to other people. And other people don't have a choice in that. And wearing masks helps protect us all for those reasons. So if you don't wear a mask, um, or if you haven't wanted to, I, I strongly ask you to reconsider. It's one of the reasons why it's to keep us all safe. Because again, with asymptomatic people, asymptomatic people don't know they have it, but they do, and they can spread it. Any of us could be asymptomatic. And the only way to know, again, is to get tested to see. So again, this helps us protect us. It helps protect our, our grandparents, our parents, our children. Think of it as not only looking out for yourself, but looking out for your neighbor. You know, that's what wearing a mask is all about. Guys, I hope this is helpful. If you found it helpful, feel free to share the video. And if you're interested in sending stars, just remember, I answer your questions first. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, and I will see you soon.